Hello, welcome to your video on the distributive property. You'll be able to identify and use the distributive property. What is the distributive property? So before you can do anything, you have to know what it is. Um, first of all, it combines multiplying and adding operations. So you're going to be doing both of those things. It, more importantly, is when you multiply the number outside the parentheses by each number inside the parentheses. Um, you're going, the key thing here is though that each number inside parentheses is being multiplied by the number outside. Um, the big word here is each because you will um, have a tendency to forget. So how does understanding area help you? Well here I have a box. This kind of illustrates what distributive property does. Um, here is a two different rectangle boxes. Um, as you notice they both have the same height. Um, if I take the area of this first box here, um, and I can do that by multiplying 4 times 3, that's going to give me an answer of 12. I can take the area of the second box, and I know that 5 times 4 is 20. Now, if I wanted to know the area of the entire box without that little tiny space in between, I would add the two boxes together and the problem would become 12 plus 20, which is obviously 32, and that would be the answer to the area of the two rectangles when you combine them. This illustrates what the distributive property, how it acts like. We'll do some practice with it in just a second. Your turn. Go ahead and um, find the area of each rectangle separately and then combine them together. Pause the video now um, and then turn it back on when you are done. You should have gotten an answer of 20 for your area. How do I turn problems into you, um, problems using the distributive property? Um, so what the distributive property is, is it's using multiplying um, and adding. So here we have a problem with multiplying and adding 4 times 3 plus 4 times 5. Um, and we're going to make it look like the distributive property because right now it doesn't. Um, what you're going to do is find the number that is repeated um, in both parentheses. So here I have a 4 and a 4. Because it's inside both parentheses both of the times, I'm going to put it on the outside. So the 4 goes on the outside. Um, and then the, the 3 and the 5 weren't used nor was the plus sign, so 3 plus 5. This now looks like the distributive property. Um, it relates to the boxes, because if I had two rectangles here, um, the 4 would be this number, and then the 3 and the 5 would be this, um, and then we're combining boxes. So that's kind of where that box method comes from. Here's another example for you. We have outside the box is the number that's repeated both times, in this case 2. Inside the parentheses is everything you didn't use, 3 plus 7. You could continue on to solve the problem, but we're just practicing here. Your turn. I would like you to write these using the distributive property, just like the two examples that I gave you. Pause the video and then turn it back on when you're done. All right, you should have 3 on the outside and then 2 plus 4 on the inside. If you continued to solve it, you would take 3 times, uh, oops, sorry, 6, 3 times 6, which is 18. Um, and the final answer would then be 18. Um, in this one, there's a variable here, but it doesn't matter too much because 6 is what's used both times. What isn't used is the y plus 3. If you have questions on this, be sure to put like a frowny face or a star or something so you can ask in class. How do I solve problems using the distributive property? So now you're given a problem that looks like the distributive property. Um, it has those same features. It's just it, you now have to solve it. Um, so here I have 3x plus 2 and then negative 5 is on the outside. Don't let the conf way it's written confuse you. You could rewrite it so that it looks like this. Um, but either way, you're doing the same thing. You're going to make a box. And this is why I kind of call it the box method. What number is on the outside, if you were to break this apart, you're saying that you have negative 5, because if you remember from the last example, 
um, you have negative 5 in both of the parentheses spots. So what I'm going to do then is put negative 5 here. And then what I didn't use um, was my 3x oops, and my 2. Using the box method, this negative 5, because it was on the um, in both places, goes on the outside. This would be 3x. This would be 2. Now I can find the area of the inside the box, which would be negative 15x and negative 10. Add those together, negative 15x plus negative 10. You cannot combine a variable with a number, uh, and so that is as far as you go. You stop there after you add that adding sign. All right, this next one, same thing. Um, if I were to write this out, um, it's saying I have 11 in both of those parentheses places. And then what I'm not using is the 5m and the negative 6. Okay. Um, but when we make our box, box method, okay, the number on the outside here goes on the outside of the box. And then inside goes inside the box. Remember, watch the signage. That's a negative 6. So now I have 5m on the outside and negative 6 on the outside. Inside the box, I find the area, 55m and negative 66. I can't combine those any further. Plug in my adding sign, and there's my answer. Your turn. Please use the box method, so set that up for both of these, um, and then do what you can. Turn the video on when you're done to check your answers. Alright, here we go. Um, this one, box method, 6 goes on the outside, 8 and 3 are on the inside. When you distribute is what it's called, um, you're going to end up with an answer of 66. This one, here's your box method, 2 goes on the outside. 14 and y are on the inside of your box, if you will, and your final answer then will be 28 plus 2y. You could also flip-flop the order and say 2y plus 28. Either way is correct. All right, mental math and the distributive property. If I have a problem like this one where it is 20 times 102, that's kind of difficult. But I can use the distributive property to break it down. I can say 20 times, and then I know 102 can be written as 100 plus 2. Okay, use the distributive property. 20 is on the outside. 102 can't be broken up. They have to stay on the same line. Now I can multiply. I get 2,000 in this first box and 40 in the second box. I add them together, so 2,000 plus 40, I end up with 2,040 as my final answer. Super easy math it becomes. All right, this is the end of your video. Again, if you have questions, make sure you put a frowny face or star or something. Uh, we will talk about this in class. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.